So real quick, guys, I just want to show you the packaging of the outside box that these figures come in. Just in case you're at your local Target store and you need a picture reference to show the employee what they're looking for when you are looking for these new BST AXN Ninja Turtle Street Game packaging so you can score these turtles yourself. So these were the four figures inside of that packaging that I just showed you at my local Target score. And I just want to say that I'm excited because I got a couple of them that I didn't expect to get. I did see some at a previous Target, but all of them were the regular release of the Turtles, which I have no problem with, which I think is cool. The ones that I got right here, I like the accessories more than I did with some of the other ones. So I'm happy I got the ones that I got. As you can see, Leonardo is one of the more rare figures and also Donatello. But Raphael and... Michelangelo are the basic versions of the figures, as you see right here in front of you. So let's go ahead and check out these figures, and I'm going to do the reviews one at a time. So we're going to start off with a Turtles a Day, and we're going to continue this, and it's going to be a four-part series. So please stay tuned and subscribe and support my channel. So let's get this review started. Welcome back, bros, to another video review, and today we have the opportunity to take a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by BSTAXN, basically Loyal Subjects, The Street Gang, uh, 1 out of 4 Chance, Leonardo. So, okay, guys, before I get started, I just want to give you the backstory on these turtles. I went to the first Target, just happened to go pick up something for my children for Christmas or whatever because they had a sale on this item. Anyway, they had three out of the four turtles. The three turtles that they had was Michelangelo, Donatello, and Leonardo. And all of those were the regular release copies, as you see right here, pointed on that one, just to show you, for example, for Leonardo. So then I went to another Target because... With the UPC, they're able to see if you get, if Target has shipments of those. So I did post that in the video previously. Hopefully, you did not skip my intro so that you can scan that with your phone or any other device that will pick up on the Target app, and you can give them the DCPI for this item. But anyway, this Target had the Leonardo, which was a one out of four chance to get with the 3D glasses, and he came with the skateboard. So for me, I feel like I got very lucky. So let's go ahead and check out the contents. So for the contents, you can look at the packaging right here. You see it. Everything up there looks like we have that, except we have a bonus accessory, the skateboard. And I'm excited to get this turtle version of the street game Leonardo because I thought this was the coolest looking one with the Letterman jacket. It gave it a type of unique feel. So for the contents, we have the traditional extra head, as you see. It is the Leonardo, the same head with the teeth showing, and it's just painted in a darker green for his skin tone. Then he comes with two sets of hands, one to hold a cantana and two for closed hands. Then he comes with his 3D glasses, which I think is pretty cool and gives it, you know, a unique look. His two cantanas, as you already know. And then check this out, guys. I'm hoping you can see this on the screen. His communicator does not have April O'Neil as shown in the picture, but it has Street Gang Donnie up there. So I thought that was pretty cool and unique. And then not only that, it comes with its collector's card, as you see, of Leonardo and his Street Gang style jacket. And then it comes with a little bio on Leonardo. If you want to read it, feel free to pause it and you can read it at your own time. But we're going to continue this review and check out the details on this figure. So for the details on this figure, I feel like this figure turned out incredible. Just looking at the jacket right here, I like how the blue is consistent and not like two different types of blues. I like how the blue matches his actual bandana knee pads and then arm pads, which are also his cuffs on his jacket. It looks really cool and it looks uniform. Not only that, check out his belt. The belt looks exactly like it did in the Ninja Turtle cartoon. Now, it would have been cool if these were fully 
clothes and her jacket, but I'm okay with the zipped up jacket because, you know, you look cool when the jacket is zipped up versus all the way closed, in my opinion. And then not only that, check out the Chuck Taylors, man, the blue and white Chucks. They did a really good job on those Chucks. And not only that, they did a good job on the head sculpt. My eyes look actually decent. They don't look cross-eyed like Playmates on some of their figures. And I think they did a really good job with this figure on this figure it's pretty much the same the arm can go up that high it has a full 360 rotation it has a upper bicep maybe swivel and then not only that the turtle is sort of double jointed but that does look a little messy right there i don't quite like that but the arm thing um the hand can rotate all the way around it can go out like that it can go in but like I said, it's like the NECA. You got to warm up the joints inside to get them working. The leg can go up that high. It can bend that far back. Um, there is a thigh swivel, as you see. And then there is a shoe swivel. So you can definitely get some type of dynamic poses if you want. The turtle can look up this high and can look down that low. As you see right here, it's not hindered by a shell. And it doesn't feel like there's a shell in the back. It just seems like that piece right there is not on the figure, which is rightfully so because this jacket is supposedly hiding the shell, which I don't have a problem with because the jacket fits very well and looks good on Leonardo. And for comparisons, here I'm going to bring out the original release, Leonardo. As you can see right now, these turtles have two different paint details at least for his skin tone and to be honest i like the new version better i wish they would have made the uh street gang turtles at least the skin tone as in the classic version of the lime green turtles yes the lime green is great but i would love to have my turtles in that unique like dark green coloring as you see they're both the same turtles uh from, I guess you could say, the leg from the hip down to the shin. Because the shin is where you have the new molded for the boot. And then, of course, uh, for the uh, Turtle Street Gang, you have the jacket, which covers that. And then also the chest torso region is covered. So, for accessories wise, this is basically the extra accessory you got. But the extra accessory for the Street Gang, you got the skateboard. You got the glasses and you got the communicator. So if you're wondering which turtles to go get, it's pretty obvious right here in front of you just from the accessories alone and the paint details on the newer figure versus the older figure. But anyway, this is just for the comparison purposes, as you see right here. Now, let's take a look at the two swords. Now, here we have the sword already in his hand, and here we have the new sword that I don't have in his hand. As you can see, it's painted differently. This one has a more silver metallic at the blade, and then at the wilt, I believe what it's called, or the handle, it's at a darker brown, while this is in a lighter brown with the same yellow around it, which I'm assuming they're trying to imitate it as a gold color. So I'm okay with that, and I don't have any issues. But other than that, that's the only difference between the two figures, except one's wearing the jacket, and then one has the shell. So here we go as a back view, if it'll stand. And here we have the back view of this turtle right here. So pretty much, they're the same exact figure, except minor adjustments and part swaps. All right, so just to continue the comparisons, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible because I don't want to make this review very long. So here we have the NECA turtles, and then we have the Playmates, and I'm going to throw in the movie figure turtle just so you can see the scale and the sizing of the loyal subjects. So let's continue to swap them out, and we're going to show you now the Playmates and the NECA version of shredder so here we have the playmates as you see which i feel scales very well with this size of ninja turtles and then here we have the NECA shredder which is exclusive to a, a 
the pinball crate. But as you see right here, I feel like these turtles scale well and work well with the crisscross of the three companies that make these turtles that I collect. Just before I get ready to wrap this review up, I want to show one thing that I meant to show you with the accessories. As you see right here, Leonardo has two holes right there on the top of his head. And the glasses just simply uh, peg in there, which is really neat, that they actually fit. So you don't have to worry about the glasses falling off his head. Just slightly give it a push down, and it fits on perfectly, as you can see. Now, I meant to say this also. The feet does not have any type of pegs for it to sit on the skateboard, which is a bummer. I was hoping that they had little pegs so that the turtle can just, you know, sit comfortably on the skateboard and not worry about falling off. But you can actually place a turtle up there and it will balance and stay still. So it does work, but I wish it was pegged on so it will have more playability and also a better way of staying on the skateboard without possibly falling off in your display. So with that being all said, which was a mouthful in my opinion, this is a figure pickup and it gets the yeah bro thumbs up figure of approval system. So if you find this figure, go get it. Do not hesitate because it is a one out of four chance that you get this figure. As you already know, this is a Target exclusive and it costs $18.49 per figure. So as a heads up, keep in mind, it has not gone in stock online yet, but you could definitely start finding it at your local retailers. And I was shocked that I was able to find this figure in Virginia so fast when it's been showing up mainly on the West Coast. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support and also positive feedback and encouragement to continue making more video reviews for you to watch. So thank you once again for spending your time to watch my video. Until next time, yeah bro, I'll see you soon.